check out this awesome shooting table I built out of an old wooden wire spool that was free. This is one of the things we're gonna look at today here at Cold Beer Ranch and a bunch of other cool stuff. So stay tuned. Cold Beer. needed Look at all them leaves out there looks so much better hey guys I got some mail back over here got the big smiley face box I don't know what's in there that's from Chuck so there's no telling and then there's a couple other packages over there so let's open them up so Cool, Fresca. Y'all ever had that? It's freaking awesome. It's not beer, but. It's pretty good. It's really good with vodka. Fresca. Okay. This is from uh, Ken and Lynette. I think I need to raise this up. Oh my God. Look at that. That right there is movie magic. I don't even know what to say. Look at them skills. All right, this is from Ken and Lynette. They're from, uh, well, they're from the United States, somewhere in the United States. So what we got. It's a package inside a package. And it says, John, enjoy this Missouri plate. I just gave away where Ken went at it from. This is awesome. I don't know if it's a custom plate or just coincident, but it says SR1 time. Not SR1 sign. It's the show me state, Missouri. SR1 time. SR one ton. So it can maybe come off a one ton truck? I don't know. SR. Thank you so much, guys. I uh oh, is that a note? I think there's a note. Oh, that's not a note. Which is fine. Okay. Pretty cool plate. Here. So this one is from Jeff. He's from Arizona. I'm going to break the knife out for this. John, I saw that you did not have an Arizona plate on your wall. Jeff. Well, thank you for being observant, Jeff. It's kind of sad I don't have an Arizona plate. My daughter's from Arizona. Well, she's not from Arizona. She lives in Arizona right now. But, uh, oh man, look at this. That is awesome. Grand Canyon State. That looks good. So I got those two to put up. 
All right, this is from Chuck. I have no idea what it is. Let's check it out. Chuck's from the great state of Texas. This is awesome. Check that out. Another bottle cap, just like the Pat's Blue Ribbon one I got over here. Look, see the PBR over there? That is freaking awesome. Okay, hang on. Look how sweaty I am, my goodness. I gotta, it's taped up. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta use my knife. This, look at this. That's a bigger one. How awesome is that? Huh? This is perfect. So I guess I'm collecting bottle caps now. I uh, got a Miller, a Corona, and a PBR. That is awesome. Well, I was about to box everything up or, or close this box up. And there's more. Look at this. Two different New Jersey plates. That is just too much, Chuck, man. I appreciate that. These are gonna look awesome up there. I definitely don't have New Jersey. Uh, and the bottle caps are really gonna look cool surrounded by all the plates. So thank you guys so much, I appreciate it. And this one's awesome. This one's for uh, fallen law enforcement officers. So that's gotta be a rare plate. You know, something that not everybody has. So, yeah, this is awesome. All right, I'm going to hang them up. I'll show you all back here in just a second.
What's up guys? You're at Cold Beer Ranch, in case you didn't know. Uh, you can see the little house in the background. A little uh, Cold Beer Ranch logo. Um, so I've been working on um, this shooting station, turning one of these uh, spools into uh, a bench, if you will. So I got it done. Basically, I just notched out this area here on both sides. And uh, one side's a little bit shorter than the other, so in case there's a smaller, you know, shorter shorter shooter, because I am 6'4", and I've made this side for me. So that side's for for, for small people, little, little baby crocker people, you know what I'm talking about? So uh, ended up uh, making a bench, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. Um, basically, you know, here, here's how it works. You just, well, you just sit down you just sit down in it you know and you can put your put your gear and stuff here it'd be cool to have some kind of box or something to put some of your stuff in but but uh yeah in essence you know you just look down that's kind of where we shoot you can see some of the targets that are set up out there and um it's much easier we're using a folding table before so i enjoy doing this this is really cool turning something that uh I got for free into something that's functional and that'll last. I think it'd be cool to sand it a little bit and stain it. Let me turn it around this way. Yeah. And uh, ultimately, I think I'd like to uh, put a roof over it, you know, so that you don't have to worry about trees and stuff falling down on you because limbs do fall down out here. But uh, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Basically, I used some uh, two by eight and uh, framed up the uh, sitting area and uh, put two cross members there going that way, supported on the bottom and then from the side and then just put two two by eights for the seat. So you can see here how this side's a little bit, a little bit shorter than that side. I'll tell you what, I've been threatening, threatening rain all day, man. Clouds have just been, dark clouds have been coming and circling all around me. But it sure does feel good out here. So I got this smaller one here, not sure what I'm gonna do with it. And if you see back over there, I've got those uh, big ones. Uh, man, if this one here is a 60 by 60 by 28 by 30, man, those are, those are way bigger. I, I think, you know, you could do something just like this, uh, except do it on both sides, turn it into like a picnic table. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. Anyways something fun something different out here at the ranch and uh, appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like and subscribe and uh cold beer y'all take it easy we'll see you on the next one